Not a white, but a wet Christmas here in the southeast. Rivers burst their banks, fields became lakes, roads turned to torrents of water. In places just the tops of cars peered out. For those looking to travel on Christmas Eve, it was a nightmare in the southeast. The rail networks at a standstill. In Lewis Station, the trains waited. Many roads were blocked by trees or water. The Environment Agency said there were 150 flood warnings in place across England and Wales. We have seen um, about 100 properties flooded across the whole of the southeast, uh, in addition to all of the disruption that obviously yeah, has been reported through the media. I, mean, I would really urge today, when people are travelling around, you know, please take great care. Uh, don't try and drive through flood water. It can be very, very dangerous. Here in Box Hill, 27 guests had to be rescued from this hotel by boat. Locals say the water rose in an instant at around 6 a.m. this morning. There wasn't time to move cars. Well, the river would normally bend around the corner there behind those trees, but instead it's broken its banks. It's swept across in front of this hotel. This used to be a road. You can see by the 40 mile per hour speed limit, but it's now a river which has swept into the car park, submerging lots of cars. And it's also blocking the M24 from Dorking to London. In Leatherhead, the fire brigade waded to their vehicles before they could even set off. A local meteorologist explained why the waters rose so quickly. Over the last 10 days, we had a month's worth of rain. Then yesterday, in 24 hours, we had a month's fall of rain. So we've had a month's fall of rain on top of a previous month's fall of rain in a week. Tonight, the Christmas lights are out in thousands of homes. If they haven't got their power supply back on by tonight, that they, it's very unlikely they'll have power back on tomorrow. Whilst our teams are continuing to work, we can't be sure when we would get supplies restored tomorrow. So in terms of planning, if uh, customers have, can make alternative arrangements, uh, uh, they, they should do so. And so top of many families' Christmas wish list is that somehow they can get the power back.